Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing our first education and formative video on New World. Now I am going to be showing you guys a quick guide on how I run metal and where I go for metal. Currently I'm in the starting zone of first light. Now I didn't actually spawn in here. When you start this game you originally spawn in one of four different starting zones and I am in first light. So I'm currently sitting at this little checkpoint, which is a teleporter, which allows me to teleport from town to town, if that's what I want. But let's just figure out how this pathing actually works. Now, <clears throat> to start off with, the most important part of where you're going to be farming is actually up here. This has about an 8 minute respawn timer, and I'll run you guys through that in a minute, momentarily. Right, generally the path consists of coming up to here, grabbing this metal, falling down and getting the silver, which should be down here. Following this path all the way back up doing a loop around the back of this and then going back the way. By the time I do that, eight minutes has passed. However, there is another loop that you can do, which is come down here, go through here, come up here. You see what this is? You want to stop here and then you want to go directly north a little bit and up here. In here, you will be able to get some um, little lightning shock orbs too, which is nice. Anyways, let me just quickly show you rather than talking through it. So directly above me, there are four mines that do spawn, but unfortunately, keeping in mind that how busy the servers are, hopefully I am going to be able to show you these spawns. So let's have a little bit of a look. Let's come up here. There are four that do spawn up here. It looks like we have one that has spawned in one of these large iron ores. So we are going to quickly swap over to our main weapon so we have access to our dash. We have two of them here. Good. So there are five that do spawn here. So this is generally where I like to start my iron run and then I move on. Right, so, you know, we're looking at about 50 iron for this based on how large the node actually is. 56, nice. We're going to grab this medium-sized one and move over. Now, these obelisks always have these giant little beams coming out of them, so you know where they are. You do have to touch them for the first time in order to be able to actually teleport to them. So we're going to keep running down here. Fall damage in this game is very forgiving. I'm going to have a little bit of food. That way I regenerate the health that I lose when I do actually fall down. Now this next area is a little bit further away and isn't as productive along the way as I would have liked to be. So coming up through here, we're going to see maybe a little bit of ore here, but this is a high traffic zone where a lot of players are going to be running past. So the chances of you being able to find iron is going to be low. Now something I recommend very important to all new players and experienced players is that you want to be able to make sure you have 25 in harvesting mining all right that is very important because in mining at 25 you're going to be able to track metal by looking at the top you see that metal right there that this guy is breaking here's a nice example of three he went for the big one straight away i should be able to break this in three hits and grab the other one it lo looks like he was a little bit too quick for me but that is okay that means i'm going to be able to beat him up and around we don't know how long he was harvesting that so that's three along the way. There are a few that spawn here. You can see that one is broken there too. But this isn't the sweet spot. We are coming to the sweet spot. Got a little bit of combat here too. Inside some of these houses, you can get the little um, cases that you need in case you need sandpaper or whatever crafting material that you need that you need to farm. Along this wall is where we're talking, okay? There's nothing actually here of note. But the second I come around the corner, a little look at the minimap where I currently am. The second I come around that corner, up this hill here, you're going to be able to see this giant metal rock if all goes according to plan. It spawns in every 8 minutes. You see that player running just then? He's going to actually be able to beat us to our destination. So this is where I like to farm my iron and I do get about a couple of hundred. Unfortunately, I might not be able to show you in this video. You see that big node there? There's two smaller nodes before it. This guy's running over. Looks like he's skipping the two smaller ones and he's going for that big one. So let's see. He actually mined both of these. There are six ores here. So there's one directly under me that spawns. There's one in that corner. There's one that I'm going past right there. Looks like he is going to go back for that one that I missed. That's good. So let's come up ahead. Now I've done this run a few times. There should be a big one down this hill on the left and there'll be a couple of small ones on the right. So this is where the sweet spot of iron is. Now this spawns approximately back every eight minutes. There are six nodes up here to do. However, only one is visible from afar. So if you don't actually come up here manually, you are going to put yourself in a bad situation because you are going to be missing out. Let's dash right across. We've got another one over here. So this is part of how I choose to... um mine iron generally it when i'm done here i walk away with i want to say 800 to a thousand but i do run this two or three times and i do do a couple of things while i uh while i'm doing it i don't just go for iron but iron is the primary there's also silver over here which is important there's two silver nodes that respawn by the time you come back and get your iron and there is also two star medals. So if you look at my mini map right now, you see two silver dots directly in front of me. So this is actually a really sweet spot in order to be able to get your harvesting up with, not your harvesting, sorry, your mining. You can see my mining has just hit level 100 not too long ago. That player didn't come across. So we've had our four or five nodes. Now directly under me, now the fall damage is approximately half my health. 
should be able to see them down there. No, that's not what we're looking for, but they're just above those plants. Can't actually see them underneath me, but that's where they are. We can see them on our mini-map. We're going to grab our last iron as well up here. Now, the beautiful thing is if you're just farming iron, that's your run done. All you have to do now is basically run all the way back to where you spawned, which is where that light is. Do the little area above the light, and the time you run all the way back, this stuff has respawned. It does have a very heightened respawn. Directly where I'm facing my my bow and arrow there is a respawn there for metal as well but there's only one big node that shows here and then you've got your little side pockets of nodes too now that isn't the end of this right something to point out is you might be past getting metal you must might be past getting uh silver but directly underneath us you can see there are going to be two star metal nodes as well now star metal does allow you to make tier four weapons and tier four um tier 4 tools so this is what i'm going to need to be farming right now i'm not 100 percent sure on how long this stuff takes to come back keeping in mind that not many people have gone as heavy into farming as uh, i have at this point in time so this is where we're going to farm up a little bit of star metal so it's nice for us we'll be able to get it now i can run this entire rotation again but i do want to point out a couple of honorable mentions of things that you can get in the area that i currently am now so i can quite easily fall down this hill walk along the side of the wall and get access to that silver as well like i said earlier fall damage is pretty generous and forgiving in this game so we're going to just do exactly that you'll notice it's taken me quite a while to farm the star metal because i am using a tier 3 steel pick when this is a tier 4 resource so it starts off with tier 1 one, which is flint, tier 2 which is iron, tier 3 which is steel, tier 4 which is star metal and then tier 5 which is the red one which requires level 175 for mining. I believe at level 125 I am going to be able to track and be able to see star metal however there are a couple of little hidden areas where you can get them so directly underneath us we can see them right there remember fall damage is very forgiving in this game we're gonna be able to fall down and grab both our metal and our two life blooms as well so when i do this full run i actually do the full clear i like to run it all because by the time i run it all everything has respawned it's not just necessarily for the iron but it is very good for the iron unfortunately i was unsuccessful in showing you all the iron think of how many players are currently playing the game there's always going to be people continuing testing you for the resources so we're going to grab both of these as well keeping in mind that you need level 50 in actually harvesting to get life bloom and they're going to be very important for your crafting now the reason mining is very important for you too is because mining is used everywhere you use it in the alchemy tree you use it in the um you use it to make weapons you use it to make arrows you use it to make armor light medium and heavy armor all will require metal you need it to make steel you need it to make jewelry so uh, you don't need iron for jewelry, but you need uh, steel. So mining is one of the most important things that I highly recommend for a lot of new players that are starting the game. I do recommend that you get it to level 25 as quickly as possible, because at level 25, you are able to track where ore is. So we got another ore right here. That's nice and easy. We're going to grab that. Generally, this is a high populated area. It looks like this guy might be coming for it too. Only one person gets to mine it at a time, and it looks like I didn't actually see it. Where is it? Oh, no, it's right here. It looks like he ran right past it. So we're going to grab that. So I can only see that because at the top of the screen, you see that little ore where I'm facing now? That tells me where iron is when most players that don't level it up will run past it. Got a little bit of Kemp there. I do want to point out that on this little lip that I was at here, so I ended up being here and then dropping down, right, and coming around. On this little lip, you do have um, Kemp that spawns up here too, which is needed for medium armor as well, which is nice. You should be able to do this whole area without any form of combat. I've kind of gone off key a little bit where I currently am going, but that is fine. All you have to do is make your way back towards the obelisk, and the time you come back towards the obelisk, the ore on top of the obelisk has respawned. You know, you can run along this cl cliff face. However, you may be unlucky here, keeping in mind this is a high traffic area. There is quite a few generous ore spawns that are around here as well, but like I said, a lot of players will be running up and down these roads but keeping it the top of the mountains is generally a pretty good aspect now i didn't even spawn in this area but you see i've got another two or right here so it really does add up we're only at 300 right now which is unfortunate but where we did miss out on a couple of those really large nodes i could probably do one normal rotation and walk away with i want to say 450 if i'm uncontested by people but then again it does obviously vary with how many nodes are still available you can see how common these nodes are along the side of the mountains so it's basically one one run i can see that there's some directly underneath me right there i didn't physically see it but i just looked at my mini map which told me that it is here too however there are two big spawns that normally come here you can see one here and one there i guess this one hadn't spawned back in time it'd be really hard to be able to do this whole run successfully and not have to worry about 
other players taking the loot because you've got to remember it is a large server and people are sharing the loot constantly and it is in one of the starting zones i repeat we are still in first light now there isn't a lot of um ore that you can get in the other territories but this is what i found to be the most efficient and successful so by the time i walk all the way up here timer is passed and if nothing's respawned there all i have to do is run all the way back down there and that all will have respawned it was unfortunate timing that that guy just beat me there and i didn't get to show you the first three nodes that he got that was about 100 120 metal but there should be another two out of these five nodes back up here there you go the big one has respawned so now what i do that these are the two that i originally started with so that tells me that the ore is already back so by the time i run that entire loop again from the lower side not the high side so we went down the low side came back up and then we came back around the high side so by the time we run it again all the ore will be back so that's what we do we just do that run for about 20 30 minutes and that will allow us to generate quite a substantial amount of ore um, there are other ways to get your ore, don't get me wrong, but like I said, it is one of the most prioritized, highly used uh, resources in the game. You should never really be walking past ore. we got another one right here. So like I said, five nodes can spawn directly above the obelisk, and when you're full, all you have to do is um, use your free teleport back to wherever you spawned, and then just come back to the teleporter and do it again. So you don't have to journey out of your way. All it's going to do is cost you 50 Azeroth, etc. So yet again, for a visual of it, we come all the way along this side path. We go all the way up through here. We come around the back of this path. We come around the front and then we follow this mountain up. And then when we get to the end of this mountain, we drop down, we grab our silver and we come all the way around the back. Now there is another iron run which uh, makes you go all the way down here. This is a much longer run. And I don't think you get a lot of loot out of it because it's close to the settlement and a lot of people take this path for a normal story quest. So a lot of people will be grabbing the metal. But yes, you come all the way around here and then when you get to this obelisk, uh, you go up and then you just come back along the path. You'll probably get half as much, but you can see that the loot has already respawned. It was 430. Keeping in mind, that guy took three la uh, one large node and two medium-sized nodes. So I'm probably walking away with 600 technically if I did get it. On top of that, we got 123 or and uh 46 uh, star or or star medals so anyways guys that's going to be an informative guide of how i farm my metal in this game i will be doing a guide on where i get my camp and how i level up my resources where i choose to manage what is important for you to be able to do in terms of saving resources to level up certain different traits in the game as well sooner rather than later anyways guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button i do educational informative content over at twitch if you guys want to tune into the live stream where we will be doing a lot more educational new world content anyways guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one